the latest picturing guys beat common risk for Singapore is out and I bet some of you are thinking so which eatery got 1 star 2 star hell ah, even 3 star fucking good Watch also, you all won't always confuse Michelin Guys Big Gourmand Lisa uh, with Michelin Stars uh, or Hack. Uh, even fucking good. Uh. So, so, uh, so, I know many of you are. Because you all seem to think that every Tom, Dick, and Harry store uh, seems to have Michelin. Eh. So, we need to understand the difference between Michelin Sky Big Gourmand and Michelin Stars, which are two different things. But before that, you need to know how the Michelin Guide comes about. You see, the Michelin is indeed uh, referring to the car tires. Uh, but how the heck did a car tire company uh, become a food blogger? Eh? Simple. Uh. It was to encourage people to drive around so that they would eat more. You see, the Michelin Tire Company was founded back in 1889 uh, in France, and the market for a car tire was super small back then. Uh. In France, uh, there were fewer than 3,000 cars, and France is a big country. Uh. Heck, uh, back then, uh, it wasn't just a country, uh, it was an empire instead. Therefore, uh, 3,000 cars was a small market. Uh. And so, the founders came up with an ingenious idea. Instead of selling more tires to more people, which was impossible given the then small market size, they could sell more tires to the same people. To do that, they come up with the Michelin Guide, a simple guide that includes maps, instructions on changing tires, listings of mechanics, hotels, and petrol stations, so people will drive more around and therefore wear out their tire and have to replace more often. Soon, slowly, they included the guide to the best Atas restaurants by awarding stars to some of them with the same objective, encouraging people to drive more. One star is good, two stars is gooder, and three stars is gooders. Yeah, my grammar is less good than yours. They became popular, and nowadays, uh, the Michelin stars have become a prestigious badge for eateries because you cannot pay them for the stars. Uh, eh? Instead, Michelin will have much people whom they call inspectors to mark in various places to find the goodest place to award the stars. Uh. In 1997, Michelin decided to have another kind of award on top of the usual Michelin stars. So, as the Michelin Sky's big common list, it's, uh, it's like uh, you know, another version of the Michelin stars, uh, but for more affordable meals. Unlike Michelin stars that are given to eateries in any place, uh, to be on the Michelin Sky Big Common list, uh, there's a price limit uh, which depends on the country one. In Singapore, the limit is at $45 for 2023, which is like about the same this year. Uh. Usually, there are more eateries in Michelin Sky Big Common list compared to eateries with Michelin stars. For example, in 2023, 55 restaurants received Michelin stars, while 79 eateries get into the Michelin Sky Big Common list. Now, usually uh, the Michelin stars uh, are more prestigious. So you can think of the Michelin stars uh, as you know, the top 3 prices in 40, uh, while the Michelin Sky Big Gomo uh, as the consolation price, uh, although uh, Michelin claims publicly that that's not the way to look at it. Uh. So, how about 2024? Eh? On 18 June 2024, uh, Michelin Sky Big Gomo list is reviewed and has increased to 81 eateries. 11 eateries are new, while 8 lost their status from last year. You can find the full list in the description. The Michelin Star eateries will be reviewed on 25th June 2024, in which the full list of both Michelin Star and Big Gourmand list will be officially published in their guide too. In the meantime, if you think that there will be a queue in these eateries that go into the Big Gourmand list, don't la. Because even before 18 June, most of these eateries usually have queues, so you are just going to queue longer. In the meantime, if you think you become smarter and also you know, hungrier, watch this video. And also, thank you for spending almost 3 minutes with me. I really appreciate it.